Cron Force Everything for Pets, brought to you by the California Family Pet Expo, September 26th through the 28th at the San Mateo County Event Center. And good morning. Uh, welcome to our Everything for Pets segment, as you saw in the introduction there, where we talk about pretty much anything and everything for pets on these Tuesdays. And today we're talking about dog training. And to help us uh, with that is our segment sponsor today. You can see the logo there, Dorfman Canine. And here with us is actually Eric Dorfman himself, the founder of the company. He's a dog behavior expert who specializes in problematic behaviors among uh, those four-legged friends that we have. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. Good morning, James. How are you? Good. So tell me a little bit about the company first of all you what do you specialize in well I specialize mostly in problematic and idiosyncratic behavior mm -hmm. um, fears dogs that have fears of things that they shouldn't yeah. um, mostly I deal with aggression uh, aggression toward other dogs or other animals as well as aggression toward humans children yeah. certain races and genders and ge interesting yeah mm -hmm. some dogs specifically don't like a, a gender yes sir How about okay now talk to me about do most of your clients come to you with with puppies or can you teach an old dog new tricks if they've had a problematic dog for a while is that something that can be worked on absolutely okay. sure I deal with puppies older dogs a yeah. lot of dogs develop problems as they get older oh, okay okay they just you know they change their temperaments yeah, yeah. can change yeah uh, talk to me uh, idiosyncrasies what uh, what are we talking about here just things that other dogs don't do that your dog seems to have a problem with or well these are behaviors you know I've dealt with a dog the other day that when you turn on the microwave he'll bite you in the ankle <laughs> okay so about the sound I guess that triggers you know the, the noise that it makes yeah. sure it just makes the dog uncomfortable and that's how the dog deals with it how about okay uh, we have a couple photos actually some examples mm -hmm. of uh, dogs that you've worked with in the past there you see a poodle uh, aggressive that's the aggression that you're talking about yes there, sir towards other dogs and that's something that that can't I guess you, you have these preconceptions that certain dogs will be aggressive by nature uh, pit bulls for instance in fact I think we have a photo later on of a pit bull uh, but a, a small dog like this this poodle you think they're just yappy dogs they are always you know, they're always going to be that way or dogs that are shy and that can never be overcome oh, what a gorgeous picture there of that little is that a basset hound that looks like a little beagle a little beagle poor kid it looks it looks frightening. He's got some fears or but, phobia issues. Oh, look at that. But these are these are problems that are fixable. That's the main point. In most cases, absolutely. Now, what do you do then? Do you cater towards the specific breed in the in finding a solution? Do you cater to what's your approach? Well, I deal with all dogs of all breeds. Yeah. Um, and problems can happen. There is no perfect dog, and there's no dog that's more prone to problems than others. Yeah. Um, just like humans, we have issues. Okay. And I guess there has to be some level of customization because every household is different, the environment is different. You said a microwave will trigger one dog. You really do cater, don't you, towards the, the client? I really do because ultimately all our dog problems fall into one of two categories. Your dog is either doing a behavior you don't want him to do right. or your dog won't do something you want him to do. Yeah. Okay, so I focus on moving the dog, teaching people how to move their dogs, get them to do what we want them to do, uh -huh. even when they don't want to do it, get them to refrain from doing behaviors that they want to do, but I don't want them to do. Right. Okay. Now, it's not a one-size-fit-all solution, then, for a dog that happens to be, let's say, uh, has separation anxiety. Your solution for one dog is not going to be the same thing you apply to a different, an, another dog. That's correct. I usually, I always know what's wrong with the dog, yeah. and I usually know how to fix the dog. The problem is, the environment is never the same, hmm. okay? We might have a client whose partner travels five days a week. That partner's not going to be part of the solution. That client might have two small children who love but torture the dog. Mm. They're actually part of the problem. We can't ask someone to spend more time at home or change your career right. or get rid of your children. I have to fix the problem with the environment that I've inherited. All right. And then talk to me a little bit about uh, talk to me a little about your dog. You you've had this dog, uh, Baffy, isn't it? This is Baffy, a German Shepherd. She's a German Shepherd from uh, Eastern Germany. Now, when you received, you about a year old, I guess you said that we the, got he her. Came she to your was house. about a year old. Okay, she's ten years old now, so she's an older dog. And, and proof is in the pudding. You started right away, obviously, with good training techniques and things like that. And yes, it's sir. just a wonderful love here. Yes, genetically, she's a phenomenal dog, and that's really important. And again, we can't change the genetics of an animal. Right. I can change certain environmental factors, but we can't change the genetics. And so, so yeah. And it's amazing because, you know, German Shepherd, 
police use them. They are, you know, attack dogs in some instances. They're very, I mean, they can defend the home, but I mean, the other side of them too is that they're just a big ball of love. Right. She's a wonderful girl. She's environmentally and socially perfect. <laughs> She's wonderful with adults, children, yep. other dogs, other animals. But at the very same time, she will courageously protect and defend her pack and her home. Just, a, just as a properly trained dog should. Yes. It takes a little more training than that to get them to do that, <laughs> but yes, she's a good girl. Well, thank you very much, uh, Eric Dorfman of Dorfman Canine, and I understand your two... Uh, These are my nieces, yes. Persia and Parnia. Do you girls have anything you'd like to say? If you take care of your dog, they will love you forever. <laughs> if you take care of your dog, they will love you forever. That's true. That's the message. Thank you, Eric, so much for joining us thank today. Thank you. And we will be right back after this quick message. Cron Force Everything for Pets, brought to you by the California Family Pet Expo, September 26th through the 28th at the San Mateo County Event Center.